Hi, welcome to the new features demo for Crazy Talk Animator. Crazy Talk 6 allowed users to manipulate and animate facial photos and pictures easily with high quality results using facial puppeteering techniques. You could take any facial image and animate it with a few easy clicks, record your own voice, or use text to speech while your on screen character lip syncs. However, the one limitation of the Crazy Talk series was that it was restricted to facial animation. Well, not anymore. With the seventh installment of the Crazy Talk series, Crazy Talk Animator, we're taking 2D animation to the next level. Crazy Talk Animator is a revolutionary animation suite with 3D layering mechanics and drag and drop multimedia compatibility that allows you to import your characters and props directly from photos. This feature guide will take you through the main things you'll need to know about the next generation of Crazy Talk. Between the project and export buttons at the top, there are four main areas which you will use when composing your animation. The first one is the actor button. This will allow you to choose from an assortment of characters to bring into your stage. In the animation section, there are a variety of full body and facial animations to choose from. These action animations only require a simple click to activate. In the last tab, there are a number of scenes and backgrounds that you can use to make a suitable environment for your animation, as well as props that you can modify and use in any kind of scene. You can drag and drop any sort of media you want into your scene to make it complete. Here I'm adding a Swift file of a TV frame to give my character something to talk about. I can drag an AVI video into the frame as well. I'll resize that and add a PNG file of a pillar to give the stage a bit more of a classic look. With clicking and dragging, I can create a scene like this in minutes. Below the main menu items at the top are some other functions as well. If you select 3D view, you will get a true 3D view of your scene. Then you can move elements back and forth to create a stronger 3D effect. Use the duplicate button to create a copy of any item on the screen, from characters to props. Flip will simply flip your character from one side to another. This is a useful tool for quick turnarounds. The link tool allows you to link objects together. After I link these two characters together, they will move forward together whenever I move the parent object around the screen. This is really useful for attaching SFX or props to moving objects. Once you animate your character and props on the scene, you can press F3 to use the timeline to make more detailed modifications to your keyframes. As you can see, there is individual channels for a number of scene elements, including individual body parts. The first thing you might want to do in Crazy Talk Animator is import your own character onto the screen. Go to the Import Actor button on your left menu bar. You can open a saved project, import a new one, or else open a sample image. The first few steps are similar to those found in Crazy Talk 6, such as masking and character fitting, only this time you are fitting a body as well as a face. The first few steps are simple. Just place the indicators over the major joints in the body, such as the shoulder, elbows, hips, and knee joints. The first is called the simple mode, and the second is called the basic mode. The third step for actor fitting is a bit more difficult. This is where you have to make sure the entire character is encompassed by the control points and framing. Make sure that all the character material is covered, as well as the entire head. After you finish that, you can move the parts around to see what joints require masking. If you see some weird things jutting out of your joints, that means you need to smooth and mask out those excess areas. The next section you need to know is the Actor and Prop Composer. This is where you can set detailed modifications to your character. As you can see, when you enter the Actor Prop Composer, there are a number of replacement options available at the top of your screen. You can replace face details such as eyes, nose, and mouth, as well as entire body parts. The options for interchangeability are endless. In the Character Prop Composer, you can also replace different body part sprites with your own image files as well. Here I'm using a PNG file of a robot arm to replace this young lad's hand. Just put it into position and I can apply an animation right away. Previously in Crazy Talk 6, you could animate character expressions through morphing like this. But now, Animator brings in the new possibility of sprite-based animation. Facial puppeteering with sprite-based characters is a little different. Instead of morphing the image, the puppeteering function will replace certain sprites to match the desired expression, like you see here. You can use those expressions to add exaggeration to body animations as well. I can selectively change facial sprites manually during this animation to come up with a result like this. 
where the facial expression suits the motion more. That means if you have body animations or images already prepared, you can easily import them this way. In the body puppeteering window, there are a number of isolated as well as full body preset motions in the library. The basic movements simply animate particular parts of the body, while the default motions are full body animations. In this window, there are two ways to animate the body. With mouse control, I can move my mouse around the screen to determine the timing and exaggeration of the movement. When I have the slider control tab selected, the animation will repeat itself, and I will be able to make modifications as the animation plays in order to get the perfect movement that I want. If you want to try for more detailed body movement, you can select the motion key editor on the left of the main stage window as well. Here you can individually rotate and modify each section of the body. There is also a detailed mode where you can isolate each different body part. Once you've made the pose changes, Crazy Talk Animator will automatically animate to that modified keyframe from the last keyframe position. You can essentially make any pose you want. If I change position in the timeline, then change my character's position with the motion key editor, I can manually make him do an exaggerated swaying motion like this. One of the coolest things you can do in Crazy Talk Animator is put together a 3D scene. As I pan through and zoom in and out of this scene, you can get a great 3D feel thanks to the ability to position props in different places on the Z-plane. The props in the scene are interactive as well. By using the sprite editor, many props allow you to import modified and animated sprites that improve the look of your animation and make your job a whole lot easier. Right-click on any prop and use the sprite editor to see if there are sprite replacement options to give your prop a little life. You can also add animated special effects to your scene as well. There are a number of different special effects animations available in the special effects area. You can resize and reposition them anywhere. Thanks for sticking with us for this brief introduction of the many new features that are included with Crazy Talk Animator. We hope you enjoy your experience with this new and fun to use animation software.